I'm Ryan Horn, Turner Steven. Focus so on is Sean. And we want to be your Town heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Rhyhorn Trainer Steven, and as you can tell, this is not a poke sign to Sean. I, this is actually our editor, Chris. How's it going? So, um, this deck that we're about to show off is actually his brainchild. Now, before we actually get going, how long have you been playing the Pokemon trading card game? Well, do you want to go all the way back? As much experience as you have with the game. Uh, I was a collector for first gen and uh, kind of dropped off after that. <laughs> um, I've been playing for about a month. A month? Now, maybe. Good. And of course, we've, me, between me and Sean, we've been playing for about 10 years. So um, now the cool part is, is why I love this game. I've been playing for 10 years. He's been playing for about a month. And he ended up coming up with something that really fits what we're what this whole channel is about. That we're going for the new player, for the uh, for the casual player, the the guys who's not, whose goal isn't to make it to to international, the regionals or or even worlds. Just we're, for fun. Exactly. We're, we're local players. The League Cups, League Challenges, maybe a local regionals. Or not local regionals, but uh, local... Uh, Tournaments? Is it, is it state tournament now? No. They got rid of states, and now it's regionals. Okay. So, for and maybe regionals if they're close enough. And, you know what? We'll just jump in and, and show you uh, the hilarity that, that you have built. It's ridiculous. It, I, that's all I can say. Best part is... It even even taking into account on the fact that it's on this channel, it should still function. This is a deck that can go first or second too. All right, all right, that's not a bad start. That's it's a little hairy, but it's not bad. Although it is totally workable. I like that cover. I know that that's a really nice. All right, so let's see what we can get, what we are up against. Mewtwo EX. This will be interesting. Uh, all right. What's, um, what's the other one he's got up there? Oh, he's Mareep. Mareep. So we might hover on cards a little bit longer. Again, you're still kind of a noob at the. Uh, we will grab a Lickitung. Yep. yep. We will Kiawe. Put four energy on the Lickitung. If you can see what we have in our hand, you might understand. Don't give it away just yet. Okay. Let's see what happens. I've, I've been practicing this deck, and it's been scoop after scoop after scoop after scoop. <laughs> so now it does 30 times the number of psychic energy attached. Okay. So... Bad. We'll lick a tongue and a licky licky. We'll drop another Orangaroo. Let's fan club and grab a Victini and, and a Numel. Yeah. Victini. Victini's kind Numel. of a linchpin in this one. You'll you're you're about to see why. Uh, let's draw a card. Okay. All right. Uh, let's get another another Lickitung out. Let's. Oh, uh, yep. I played the energy wrong on that one. That's quite all right. Yeah, because he's he's gonna knock out the Orangaroo, but then we pretty much got it at this point. Yep. <laughs> Any tools that they put on. Okay. <laughs> it will hurt this deck a little bit. But not much. Not much. Let's judge. All right. All right. I like this. Definitely baton. Ligatong, baton. We've already attached the energy. Let's draw a card. Okay. And now let's go for the key to the deck with Dangerous Lick. 
Nope. Save it. How much? How, how much HP does he have? Oh, that's a knockout. Oh yeah, that's two hundred. One. Uh, <laughs> As I said, scoop after scoop after scoop. Yes. So this. Okay. So why this deck works so well and so hilariously, it it comes down to the unlike an unlikely pairing. Because the fact uh, he again he just started. He, this is this. I said, hey, Stephen. Help me out. Let me build something that can stand rotation because rotation is coming up. And give me something that, for me as a returning beginner player, can say, ha, ha, two. <laughs> now, the thing is, is I didn't do those things for him. Instead, what I did is we set him up with an account on PTCGO and let him play and and get get his own bearings. When and you, I, I, you should note that the only thing that he did say to start with was the Licky Licky. As a matter of fact, you brought this Pokemon up to me, and you started building the deck on the up, on your own. But we focused That's true. That's true. we focused the entire deck around Licky Licky. It's a stage one, 130 HP normal Pokemon, but it has a very hilarious attack. Three colorless energy. Dangerous Lick. Does 50 damage regardless. So it does 50 damage, plus you flip a coin until you get tails. If the, if the attack does 50 more for each heads, but if the first flip is tails, your opponent's active is now paralyzed. Now you see why it works on our channel? Because we tend, anything that requires a coin flip, we tend to get tails. With Licky Licky, we are perfectly 100% okay with that. Yes, and with the addition, close that out. Of Victini, what's its ability? Once during your turn, any flip you do, you can choose to reflip. Yep. Not enough for a knockout. Maybe see if you can go for paralysis. Or if you got paralysis, but you need the knockout, you can try for the knockout. As I said, Victini is our linchpin. It really is. And then we also run Camerupt as a bit of a backup attacker. 140 HP fire Pokemon. Uh, very similar attack. Fire and a, a DCE, 80 damage for, and you flip a coin till you get tails, 80 for each heads. Or two fire and a DCE, 120, uh, 120 damage, and they're burned. So 140 overall, minimum. So either way, the entire deck is based around flipping. And there's not, as you can see, not many cards that go into it. Most of the cards you guys have, you'll scroll up or down just a little bit. But this this is at least a fifty cent rare, maybe a one dollar. This is a fifty cent rare, maybe one dollar. And I think Victini is going to be the only hard one to find at a dollar. A Rangaroo. Okay, a Rangaroo is a bit of a staple. It is if you have your staples already, the two a in this deck shouldn't be an issue. If you're just starting out, it may take a little bit to get the Orangaroo. It took me a little bit of time to find it on my own account. A lot of trading. <laughs> but but it's still a completely achievable deck. Uh, and then the key trick that you end up seeing is used in that turn one. It's Kiawe. Search your deck for four fire energy and attach them to your Pokemon. You now have potentially a Licky Licky or a Camera Up ready turn two. Uh, with this deck, I have done 600 to a Piplup, turn two. Uh, we've knocked out an Ultra Necrozma, turn two. We've taken out a... Uh, Guzzlord. It took a minute. Turn two. that was... Turn no, two, turn three. It was turn four. Oh, it's turn because four. Because it was paralysis, paralysis, rolling tackle for knockout. That's right. Uh, now, to be fair, it does have a weakness to fighting, so the fighting guard chomp list, you're going to get destroyed. Buzzwall, you're going to get destroyed. Did, I did, against the Fighting Card Chomp, I did stand a couple rounds. But the only reason I lost that match, I got disconnected on my phone. Yeah. That's how I, that's how I play. It's my phone. Yeah. So it, it can <laughs> hold its own, especially if you can get the Paralysis. Uh, oh, yeah. It, it can just overpower very, very fast. Uh, so we'll just go through the entire list. 
Uh, we run four four licky tong or licky licky. This is pretty much the main engine to the or the main attacker in your deck. Uh, this is the one you're gonna try to go to as soon as possible. The Lickitung isn't a bad idea to get set up either. Double colorless energy, draw three. So even if you can't Kiawe first turn and you can at least DCE. You could pull energy. You could pull the Licky Licky. You could pull Cynthia. Anything. Exactly. Uh, so we run 4-4 four, four Lickitung. Or 4-4 four, four Licky Licky. We run 2 Arang Instructor Rangaroo. Uh, just so we can always have a hand size. We run a 2-2 two, two line of the camera opt. Uh, the original list we had, it was a 3-3 split, but for some strange reason, whenever we try this online, we always get tails with this, regardless. Yeah. Double. <laughs> double tails. Fif Next turn, double tails. 15 heads with Licky Licky, zero with camera up. But we're not building them just for online, we're also building it for in real life, and depending on what your luck with, with coins are... This this could be a good backup attacker, especially being fire. You're hitting Sogaleo. You're hitting. Um, well, I mean, like if if you Sogaleo less headbutt, Yeah. If you, you get three, four head heads in a row, that's knockout. Yeah. So I mean, two knockout, two heads, and that's very close to most knockouts. One one sixty <laughs> at least puts pressure on a lot of things. Mm. Three, you pretty much guarantee a knockout. Um. Two Victini, again, this is just to ensure that we get the flips that we want. We run two Energy Lotto, uh, so we can pull out the DCEs if we need them, or even a, a Clinch Fire Energy if we need it. We run two Energy Recycler. Again, this deck does require a lot of energy, and if a lot of Pokemon are getting knocked out, you're you're going to make want to make sure they stay in the deck. Yeah. Uh, we run three Nest Ball. Again, Lickitung... Uh, it's either set up with the Lickitung or Numel, or you're getting uh, your Oranguru and Victini so that you can hit, ma hit max damage, hit fresh hand, all that kind of stuff. Yep. We run two special charge, so you, we can shuffle the DCE back in in case we're running it against a deck that's very hammer he heavy, uh, especially enhanced hammer. There was one I did where I had set up two DCEs on my Lickies, and guy hammered me. Hammered me next turn. Out comes that one. <laughs> okay, start over. And it's not hard to start over once because if you lose just one DCE, yeah, I mean, and you use that to pull out, pull it back out, you're up and firing again. Yeah. So this just makes sure you are always set up to hit and get. You have the energy to set up your attacks. We run two switch because, well, unfortunately, camera up is a bit of a fatty. Uh, Lickitung or Licky Licky is a bit of a fatty, so you need to be able to switch out if, say, a Steel comes out and you got Licky Licky active, you could switch into a Camera Opt and get that going ASAP. Mm -hmm. I uh, we run three Cynthia for hand refresh, and because it's Cynthia, we run two Guzmas so we can pick out specific targets to either slow them down or to uh just ensure knockout or ensure knockouts. Uh, we run two Judge. Uh, just for a little hand disruption and maybe a hand refresh for us because we play just I've about pulled, every card. I've pulled a lot of judges and five times out of six, it pulls up a card that you need. It, that it does. Uh, we run three Kiawe. Search your deck for four fire energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon. Uh, we, if you go first with a Lickit or with a Lickitung active, you now got a Licky Licky ready to go turn two. This pretty much accelerates either one of them as fast as possible, whichever yep. basic you get first. Uh, we run uh, two professor Pokemon Center ladies so that you can heal 60 in special conditions in case they paralyze you or it's just about ready to get knocked out. You got at least one more turn of survivability. Which sometimes it takes just that one turn. I did one yesterday. That one turn. Mm -hmm. I got the knockout. Uh Three Pokemon fan clubs. Search your deck for two basics. Again, that's a Lickitung and a Victini. That's an Oranguru Victini. Numel, Lickitung. Uh, get you all the attack that you need. We run three Wishful Paton. Again, since we are running so many basic energy, this just makes sure that we always have an attacker backed up, ready to go, and that we don't lose out on the energy that we end up placing in. But, well, okay. You Hold just on. added one. 
I just added one. So three wish of baton. We've got four DCE and eleven fire energy. So now, at this point, we're gonna jump in and do another match. Except I fibbed. You're taking, taking over, over this one. <laughs> you built the deck. It's only fair that you get to showcase its great, uh, its great stopping power. Yep. <clears throat> As I said, heads, tails, doesn't matter. First, second, doesn't matter. Although going fur or going first with the cow, it, as this situation would be a really good one to go first. Oh yeah. That way you're not wasting an attack or wasting a turn. But even then, you're you're still sitting really good. Well, let's see what Pokemon they're planning on dropping up. Apologies. Tight quarters. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see. We've got. Oh, I'm actually kind of surprised. I so, would go. Let's go with uh, Kyawe to start. That's what I would do. Because, as I said, or as he said, getting it on there is what's key. Doesn't matter if we're wasting a turn. It's not wasting a turn, it's firing up. <laughs> Almost quite literally in this case. Almost <laughs> quite literally. And then the next turn, either Cynthia or... Ooh. That Espeon might be a bit of an issue. He's only got the one, in one energy. Come on, get out of the way. Spur 30. 30 you're confused mm. or if he gets a dce 60 plus 20 for each energy attached to you yeah let's see what happens all right so now okay um yep let's get my little buddies out here or you know what no no i want the bikini not the normal very good So let's go. Uh, what would you do? Um, I'll see if you can try for the lap up. All right. Sweet. Yes. Come on. Yes. There we go. Now, <laughs> now the question is, question is, will he be able to get the knockout next turn? The unfortunate answer is yes. Because he just needs one energy and he's doing 60. Uh, look on, look at him again. Because it's, I think, 60, 60 plus 30. So, yeah, it's knockout. 369. That's 120 on top of 60. Yeah. So next up, I would do a Rangaroo. Watch. Baton. Oh. No. I would go Nest Ball. Actually, you know what? No, I'm, I'm going to let you do it. Because you should know the play. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Just end the turn. Alrighty. I'm gonna go for a judge so I can refresh. I know, but you also do have a licky licky and a DCE in hand, which guarantees a next a revenge at least. Yeah. <clears throat> I still feel like that that pack, the sleeve coat. It's really nice. <laughs> it is. Okay, a couple good targets. Yeah, decks like Espeon tend to shut this down pretty quickly. 
anything that penalizes you for energy. Well, that just helps. <clears throat> Wait, what side he's got? What's got the uh, dark energy? What is that? Oh, that one? Yeah. That's a Noibat? Okay. <laughs> so he's going for Noiburn. <laughs> Now, Judge. Yeah, sure, why not? There we go. All right. Now we got a lick of tongue set up, ready to go next turn. And then we can fan club, get another one set up, ready to go. Yep. And then just provided he doesn't Guzma. Yeah, that's going to happen. And then retreat, hammer in. Okay, so this isn't the best showcase for my first start, but... A Rangaroo. That's okay. <clears throat> yep. Uh, yeah. So wait, do I have one on the board already? Uh, baton onto Lickitung. Yep. I'm okay with that. All right. For a second. Do I have enough in the yo? Oh, yeah, do. you got enough. So in fact, you had a fully loaded uh, Licky Licky, and then one with just one energy. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> I've had them where I've had Licky Licky up on the board, and they use their GX attack right off the bat. And I just... Shrug it off. Ooh. Nice. Depends on the deck. Yeah. And who you're going up against. Now, bear in mind, right now we're in the top of the ladder, so these are more, the more heavily competitive decks. Yeah. With the occasional Guzzlord. Which is a small pain, <laughs> but doable. One twenty, and I forgot what does it do. Uh, uh, right. Why can't I? I uh, sonic volume. Your opponent can't play any special energy. Oh, that's mean. Yeah. But he's not going to be able to get the one shot either way. Plus, Noivern kind of shuts down a deck like this. Either A, you can't play items, which this deck kind of relies on, or B, you can't attach a sp uh, special energy. Again, something yep. the deck relies on. <clears throat> so, unless he does a misplay of, like, my proportions... <laughs> you know, I was playing yesterday against uh, one of our, our deck builder. I misplayed once and still turned it around on him. Yeah, but again, he is going to have to misplay as bad as I usually do in order to really survive this. <laughs> yeah. Start pulling a Steven, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, the 
depends what his attack is. He's probably going to shut me down again. Yeah. Yep. <sighs> really? Womp womp. Yeah, okay, well. <sighs> New mount. Wait, he did 40, right? Mm. Cool, you can attach special energy again. It's not going to help, but. It won't let but me you play. Can't, but you can. Now, why won't it let me play, though? That's the question. Because you. You can't play any. Uh, you can't play any items with the first attack, but you you need a fire and a colorless in order to attack. Right. You just have two colorless. Nope. Can't can't attack special. Well played. Yep. You have a good deck. Smiley face. Brownie face. Smiley face. Brownie face. Well, he won before it could go through. Let's run that again. Because, <laughs> again, every loss is a learning opportunity. Especially for for newer players. Northern <coughs> sucks. <laughs> Northern's hilarious. You obviously weren't paying attention to our video. I edit your videos. Uh -huh. Of course I pay attention. But yeah. Um, so this deck is definitely going to be one of... It's It's not going to take worlds. If It would be it, hilarious if it did. It would be very hilarious if it did. But realistically looking at it, this is definitely more a... You are you got a league cup or a league challenge coming up or just a local, uh, a local tournament at, at a card shop. This is the kind of deck you would want to run. Something that's just as annoying to the top players as it is to the bottom players. Ouch. All right, but even even then, let's see if we get set up better this time around. Hopefully we do. Hopefully we do. Although, Grass Electric had this weird feeling Bulu. We might actually... Would we hold our own against Bulu? If we pick our targets right, maybe. I just hope it's only one mulligan and not many. Oh, that works. That, that works really well, actually. So then you'll lick a tongue. Yep. And then just keep it simple. Dapu Coco GX. All right, so you know what? Put the energy on the Numel, then Kiawe. Remember, any and all possible plays, and then I uh, go for anything that ends your turn. And now, one seventy. We're definitely going to need. Okay. So we're definitely going to need a, a, a flip teeny. Yep, Bulu. I knew it. We're going up against Bulu. So the. Yeah. It's. And then there comes the Grubbin. Hopefully we get set up and we can just start locking them. Any and all chance, go for the grub in as soon as possible. Pretty much, this is going to be your first target. That or the Bulu is your secondary target. First, second, check. Set up target first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Scientist in the back. So that's the baton. It's okay. It's okay. You got. You run plenty in the deck. I run two. I know you run two, but here's the thing. He can't attack with the Coco. He needs two energy to retreat, but if you get the paralysis on him. 
Take 30 less damage, okay. I. Uh, yep, licky licky. Energy on Numel. Let's go gambling. Dangerous lick. Let's hope for tails. That's okay. I wish we had a Victini on board. That's for sure. Yeah, Victini would really help us right about now. But even then... I don't remember, do we have field blowers in here? No, there are no field blowers in this particular deck. That is another addition you might want to think about. Yeah. This deck really is just prime for... Uh, for more options you can add in dumbbells for a little bit more survivability uh field blowers and uh and more control stuff like crushing hammer uh enhanced hammer to deal with all their stuff yeah um there's a couple things that could really help this deck a lele bridge at combo would it be a bad idea although obviously i don't have we don't have the funds and he definitely doesn't have the funds for for at least one Lele. But uh, this deck could use a Lele. Yeah. For either the turn one Kiawe or um, or Bridget slash Fan Club or something along those lines. DC on a new mouth. Cool. 20 and paralyzed. That's okay. For now, how many energy does Bulu need to attack? Two, three. Okay. So as long as he doesn't accelerate, then he's gonna swap out. He can't. Oh. Huh. You cannot retreat when you are paralyzed. If you're paralyzed or asleep. How many hollows does this guy run? Jeez. In a deck that uses its GX attack relatively quickly. A lot. Oh, he's using a Lele, Coco, and Bulu. Well, all right then. Okay then. Yeah. And now we got a Vika Volt. Now let's see. Yep. Twenty and paralyzed. Now the best part is, is next turn you could rolling tackle and knock it out. Yep. This is a very frustrating deck because if you're ill prepared, paralysis can really grind you down. <laughs> like we always say, paralysis wins games. <laughs> You gonna hollow again? <laughs> no, he's Cynthia. Oh, huh. Like it done? Oop, wrong button. That's okay. It's a knockout anyway. 100, 120, not bad. We got a nest. <laughs> there's a Rangaroo, and there, there's a Rangaroo, and there's a. Uh, there's Victini. Yep. And you draw two, right? No, just one. Okay. Fan clubs two. How much damage can Bulu do? Oh. As soon as Kukui gets out of the way, I can tell you. Uh, 30, okay. Try to bug. Really up. need to get that guy out of there. Uh huh. But right now, you're, you're still sitting good. I. Yep. Wait, Bulu has no weakness? Why does Bulu have no weakness? Good question. Should Bulu have a weakness to fire? Alright, so Rangaroo. Alright. So, nope, don't switch. No. Instruct. That's fine. I was gonna say fire on the licky licky. Don't don't miss out on an energy drop. Play, do all possible plays. Yep yep yep. 
All right, let's see what we get. Nope. I'll well, stick with the... Stick with paralysis. Paralysis, yeah. Paralysis wins games. I, I'm totally pulling that face on the inside. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I don't know how Wait. somebody with that size tongue though would live. You choke yourself. Yeah. I guess that's why it's always constantly on the outside of his body. <laughs> Guzma, okay. So he's going to Guzma out of it. Oranguru, okay. Interesting choice. Can't retreat, though. You can't retreat, but you can switch. Yeah. Oh, you thought I was done. I uh, go with the instruct before the Cynthia. Yep. No, I'll you, save it. Yeah, you you don't need to really play anything. That's two hundred. Uh, no, don't don't flip again. Nope. Just just accept. Oh wait, no, that's one ninety. Or one seventy. Oh. Uh the stadium. I completely forgot. Thanks, Steven. Quiet. It would have been a knockout minus the stadium. But you know what? That's quite alright. Because we have this one loaded up. And we're one energy lotto from this one loaded up. So Okay. That is quite alright, bud. Yep. Let's go a little cheeky. Question is, who do you want to put it on? Uh, Oranguru, retreat out, go back to Licky Licky. You do not stop the offensive with Licky Licky. <laughs> uh, there's not much else we can do right now. No, nope. just attack. Just, just, just keep hitting. almost want to say yes. <laughs> I know. Uh, field blowers are definitely something you need. Uh, you can add at least tech in one. Yeah. Just to deal with that stadium. Stadium. The... Stadium, the attachments. Choice band, yeah. Just keep swinging. And never let up swinging. It's... He's running this. Most people usually give up by now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do this. Do it. Just to be a smart aleck. Yep, do it. Uh, well, guess what? I'm fully healed. <laughs> Alright, keep it going. Is this enough now, you think? Uh, Bear of Mind's going to be minus 30. So not, nope, not enough. Not quite. You want to be cheeky? Right. Okay. You're gambling. That's done. 120. Not bad. For an exact <laughs> knockout. <laughs> Bravo. Just a little bit of cheek. Uh, looks like Lele might have a little bit of cheek for you too because this does 20 times the number of energy attached to both Pokemon uh huh and he's going to bring that Bulu back out uh huh oh and a Coco Ooh. you know if we somehow no pull he shuffled this, it back into the we, deck yeah if we somehow pull this out for a win what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, your 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 stuff blocked it. Hey, guess what, buddy? Okay. I will. Yes, yes. Roll that flip one again. again. 
Best part is, it's not electric, it's not grass, so it is stuck there. Oh! <laughs> oh! Sideways. Okay, um... You okay, Steven? That was so close! <laughs> it... You know, I almost wanted to see you just, no, just no. to be a smart Alec. Judge. But... If anything, judge. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay with that. Disrupt him up. Disrupt him too. Ed. Go for it. I'm gonna load him up real quick. And why not, right? Yep, why not? What do we got? Okay, well, that's. Go for it. <laughs> Done. Uh, uh, no. Nope. I'm, I, that's a knockout. That's a knockout. So yeah, you're not reflipping. <laughs> licky Licky is strong enough to take on Bulu. Yes. Who knew? <laughs> um. So you know since the first one was such a quick scoop. Uh, no, no. You you pretty much showcased the deck against yeah. Bulu. No, no. <laughs> no, no. You you can't. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <clears throat> so, for a I, noob, how do you think I did? You know? For a noob, I, I have to say. Yeah, so. As, Come here, scientist man. As a noob, I'm going to have to say this is one of the jankiest, hilarious, consistent decks that we've ever had on this channel. What do you think? How do you think I did? Well, you took out one of the top tier decks, so how else do you think you're feeling? Uh, next question. We touched on this previously, just a little bit. Do you think it could go all the way? With result, mm. if, if, the, if the results were as good as that, consistently, like this deck is... I think with enough tinkering and enough resources, I don't see it. I can see it making day two minimum. Just being that one deck that everybody's surprised. I see to it see. bubbling into day two. <laughs> bubbling into day two. It, it. This really is one of the funniest, jankiest, just most amazing decks that we've had on this channel, and it's consistent. And as you've seen, I had. All the hitters loaded up. If you would have knocked me out, okay, next. So, you know what? <laughs> For your first deck in the world of Pokemon, you did a damn good job. Thank you, sir. And you know what? On that note, take it easy until next time. Hey guys, thank you for checking out the video. I hope you guys enjoy, or we hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it really is a really fun deck of our, a really fun uh, list for us, and we're glad you guys could enjoy it with us. Uh, be sure to go down and hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town hero yourself. Uh, hit us up on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore town underscore heroes. And also be sure to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. You guys take it easy. Until next time.